Water is everywhere we look, even invisible in the air. It is the essence of life. It makes up about three quarters of our body and serves many important jobs inside of our body. Water is essential for our body to survive, but we will be focusing more specifically on the role it has in the digestive system. Let's see what happens when the sky takes a drink of water. The water is ingested into the body orally when signals are sent to your brain that you are thirsty. As water is taken into the body, the journey of water through the digestive system begins. Water acts as a lubricant down the esophagus for food to pass. Without water, we would choke more often. Once the water goes through the esophagus, it reaches the esophageal sphincter. It opens to release the water into the stomach. From chemistry, we can recall that water is the universal solvent, which means it is able to break up many food molecules. The boli, food molecules, are broken down by a mixture of water and other bodily fluids inside the stomach to make the large molecules easy to be absorbed. After the digestive substances get broken down in the stomach, they go through the pyloric sphincter, then to the small intestine where carbohydrates, lipids, nucleic acids, and proteins get absorbed into the bloodstream. The unabsorbed parts of the boli leave the small intestine with the water into the large intestine. Water only really enters the body when it hits the large intestine. After the water has carried out its function of digestion, helping absorb nutrients through the stomach and small intestine, the large intestine absorbs the water. The water then goes into the body through the bloodstream. The unabsorbable nutrients finishes its way through the large intestine and out the body as less of a liquid, usually. Water makes up about 92% of the blood in our body. The water is transported through the bloodstream to help your entire body, which is why we need to drink and absorb water.